It's not what you see with your eyes. It's what you can see with your eyes. It's not what you hear with your ears. It's what you can hear with your ears. It's not what you think with your mind. It's what you can think with your mind. And I want to expand that. And by the way, if you know where that quote comes from, please tell me, because I spent an hour trying to find it online. I could not find the source. Anyway, I want to expand that because for me and for you joining me here, my epic adventure seekers, it's not what you feel in your heart. It's what you can feel. And it's not what you can know in your body, in your whole being. It is what you can know. Going right along with today's subject, what I have for you today that you can download for free is a short document that I wrote to invite you to take your first steps in your spiritual path. And you can grab that, go through it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm Ali Bierman, and you're joining us here today for Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and Mind. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. There are things that society will tell you you're supposed to see, and you're supposed to interpret it this way, and you're supposed to hear, and you're supposed to interpret what you're hearing that way. And thinking, well, if you're not living in conscious awareness, you're not even doing your own thinking. But I talk to you all the time about coming from your heart. And you can allow yourself to feel what's going on with your heart. I recommend to do that, close your eyes. Feel, see what you sense. See what you're sensing, see what you're knowing with your whole body. Notice what you're doing with your hand. Just focus on your hand for a moment. You doing it? What are you noticing about your hand? Are you feeling anything? You getting messages? Is your hand telling you it's hot or it's cold or it wants some hand lotion? What is your hand letting you know about you, where you are in space, where you are in your being in this moment? When my daughter was a teenager, because she was a dancer who got hurt very often, I was told by somebody, put your hand over her and you'll feel heat. Yeah, I felt the heat. She felt the heat. It helped her to heal faster. Then when I was working on my master's in psychology, my art teacher taught us about running energy with the coolest demonstration, he had one of the students like lying down and he was going with his hand over her and I could literally see the energy. I could see it going down and he raised his hands. So I could see it going up and down and up and down. And I'm not saying that you're going to see the energy, but I'll tell you what, if you don't look for it, you definitely won't see it. Well, anyway, the instance of working all those times with my daughter and was seeing what my art teacher was doing, I realized energy is very real. I'm energy. Your energy, everything in your environment is energy. And there's only one energy. People talk about being Reiki masters. 
I'm a Reiki master. Guess what? If you have a room full of 100 Reiki masters, you're going to see 100 different ways of practicing Reiki because they're just man-made concepts. The energy, that's real. They're all running a very real energy. You want to call it Reiki? Call it Reiki. Call it Sam. Call it Elizabeth. Call it whatever you want to call it. It's one energy. I also trained in Amanahuna energy. And the word was Reiki energy is masculine. Amanahuna energy is feminine. There's one energy out there. Everything in the whole cosmos is made of this one energy. Now, if you've never experienced holding, playing with it, here's something very simple to do. Learn this from that art teacher way, way back, learning mainstream psychology. Take your hands and start pushing them together and then pulling them apart, together and apart. And notice what you're feeling. If you keep doing it, you're going to feel a very real ball of energy. And you can move it around different ways. And you can nourish it and make it bigger. I also practice Qigong. And in that practice, it's called Qi energy. And your body is Qi energy. And it's filled with Qi energy. And everything around you is a Qi energy. And we make Qi balls, just like I'm doing now. Just going back and forth and back and forth until you feel it. When I meditate in the morning, I just ask the universe to allow me to feel the energy running through my hands. Now, I know the energy can just come in directly to me from the universe, but I just like the way it feels, wherever I put my hands, the warm energy goes in. But guess what? Energy is wiser than we are. And it goes wherever it's needed in your body. I remember many years ago working on somebody and my hands were like up here, the top of his body. And he said, oh, I thought you were down at my feet because that's where I feel the heat, that's where I feel the energy. The energy always knows where to go. Any kind of energy healing, you might have an agenda in your mind that you want A, B, C to heal. And you won't notice that your body, mind, spirit has a priority to heal D, E, F first. Your body has priorities. So you won't notice that healing and you'll be disappointed that ABC didn't heal. However, after DEF heals, if what comes next is ABC, then that will heal. So yeah, every Reiki master, every practitioner, you don't have to be a master to be running Reiki, running energy. In whatever pattern your master teacher taught you, it's all one energy. So a lot of fun things happen, at least for me, when I've run energy on people. I've had a lot of people levitating, just going up in the air, which I found very interesting because when people talk about the laws of the universe, they tend to use the example of gravity. They tend to tell you about the squirrel who jumps off the ledge of a tall building is going to fall to the ground. Yeah, but how do people levitate? I've had people come up off of chairs. When I first started running energy, I used to work on people on a, a high bed. And they go oh, right off the bed. And here's a really fun one. I was working on somebody on the bed. And the bed jumped. He's on it, right? Full-grown adult. My hands are up here. He's down there 
on the bed. And oh, up goes the bed. <laughs> and he says, did you do that? Yeah, my hands were up here. And I made the jump. I made bed with you on it, jump up in there. <laughs> A lot of things happen because energy is real. And when you allow yourself to be open to the experiences, oh, your life is going to be filled with so many new, unexpected, fun things. Where are you in the realm of energy? You know, you're not your body and you're not your mind. And I think a very easy way to get into what I'm talking about is with Eckhart Tolle. I personally think he's an honest to goodness prophet. You know, there are a lot of people I follow, a lot of people I study, but he's kind of a class by himself. I remember it took me a long time to get into him because his voice is, I don't know, relaxing is exactly in the word. His voice, his meter, his whole presentation is very different from everybody else's. And now I can't even think come to my mind how many of his works I've been studying and in fact you know, you have a special offer using my link that'll be in the show notes to get a free download of an Audible book. And if you're not really into everything I'm talking about here, energy-wise, being in your body, but really not of your body, I think he does a fabulous job of explaining it. And I don't even know how many books he's written, a gazillion of them. But you can go on Audible, and I recommend starting out with Eckhart Tolle, the audio collection, because it's three different books, and that link will be in the show notes. You get a free download and a free 30-day trial to look around in Audible. There are special podcasts you won't find anyplace else. There's all kinds of courses, magazines, a lot of stuff. It's not just audio books. So be sure you check that out. And I'm very, very grateful that you came and joined us here today for Let's Get Metaphysical Connecting Heart and Mind. Remember to join our Facebook group. Make a friend. Ask some questions. And if you got something out of today's session with you, I really appreciate your telling Two friends, because word of mouth is how the word spreads. And if there's one thing this world can use right now, it's love and joy and peace. And that's the whole basis of who we are and why we're here. And I appreciate your joining the community to support the podcast and you do that by following also the link in the show notes and when you do that you come join me every month for a live video call a private call with whoever chooses to be there and let's find out who you are what you want to know what you've been discovering because you listen to or watch, let's get metaphysical. And you can also go to our show page, let's get metaphysical show.com. You can listen to or watch any of our over 100 episodes there. I wish you a day. No, not just a day. I wish you a week because I'll be here again next week. I wish you a week filled with countless blessings and guess what when you expect them you're gonna see them because they'll be coming at you on stop so enjoy that's capital i-n capital j-o-y every moment because nothing in your life in your world happens outside of you 
and all of it happens with it. I'll see you here next time. Now, this is just an extra little bonus for those of you who are interested in a bonus. We are energy. That's what we are. We're pure energy. Well, there are lots of different ways to run energy. In Reiki and Amanahunu, they teach you to do it this way, with the energy centers in the palm of your hands. But guess what? You have one kind of energy on the pad of your finger. You have a different one on the nail side of your finger. You can run energy with your hand open. You can run it with your hand in all different kinds of configurations. I use lots of different configurations when I'm working on people, and that's because the energy comes in at different frequencies. So I use it in different places on the body by running it with my hands in special positions. There's a lot to know about energy. And the bottom line is, it's all one energy. And if you don't want to know all the details about how to make it special, which I don't really see why you would, unless you want to be an energy practitioner like I am, just knowing, asking for the energy to run into the person to run this way, which reminds me, if I pass by an ambulance going someplace, I always, yes, I'm still driving. I have one hand on the wheel, but I'm always asking for energy to go both to the person being treated inside that ambulance and to the team who's treating the person. And I've lived by hospitals a number of times, man, every time I heard that, I don't know what they call that special lifeline helicopter. Every time I heard it coming in, I'd be asking the universe to send extra energy. And by the way, I am a minister and I do have, I call it a blessings list. And if you have a need to be on the blessings list, just go to my contact page and that link will also be down in the show notes. Let me know what you need and we'll see about adding you to the list. Again, thank you for joining me here today and enjoy your day.